Okay, hi friends. I have a 30 minute full body hit workout for you. 45 seconds of work to 15 seconds of rest. Three circuits. We are going to be doing each circuit three times through with a one minute and 15 second rest in between each individual circuit itself. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Go. Circuit number one is going to be plank jacks. We have a bear plank to a regular plank hop out. And then last but not least, some suspended bird dogs, which are incredibly more challenging than I thought they were going to be. So, starting off with that plank jack, what a plank jack looks like. Hands can go on a mat somewhere. Make sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrists the whole time. Make sure that you're not dipping those hips down. They stay nice and straight and in line with your back. Hop those feet out and in. That's what a plank jack looks like. Back here, in and out. All right, next up we have those bear planks to regular plank hop outs. So, bear plank just means that you're in this position here. Knees aren't touching the ground. You should be making a 90 degree angle in pretty much every joint in your body with your arms and your chest. And then what's gonna happen is you'll hop those feet out, hop them back in. Keep that core nice and tight the whole way through. And last but not least, while I'm in this position, we've got some suspended bird dogs. So, getting back into that bear plank position, I'm going to first get my hair out of my face, and secondly, look in between my hands, keep my neck at a neutral angle, keep my core nice and tight, and I'm going to raise my opposite arm and opposite leg up off of the ground to here. Bring it back in, out. It's slow and controlled. The way to the burning. Bird dog is next. 
two, and go. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong You won't believe, we've had our great But somewhere there's a light inside of us It shows the way Not looking for no, no, no
and again from the top. Two more times. Strut the squat to oblique crunch. And let's go. Thank you. 
drawing that belly button all the way to the ground, making sure that there's no gap between your back. You don't want to be able to actually stick your hand all the way through. Extend those legs forward. I want you to keep your feet flexed. This is going to take the work out of your quads a little bit. Lower those legs around and then pick them back up. And I want you to continue to switch directions so that you can't use momentum to get your legs back up and it's all core. Then we have those oblique crunches. So one leg comes on top of the other knee. Here we're going to bring this arm behind your head. This hand can kind of come out to the side just to keep it balanced or it can just stay pretty much anywhere. After we hit that 22 second mark. And our last core movement for the day. In your regular crunch position. Palms face towards the ceiling. Lifting up through the shoulders and tucking that chin, you're going to reach towards your toes or heels, whatever you can reach. Again, drawing that belly button spine. As it progressively gets harder, lower the shoulders back down towards the ground. Okay, 45 seconds on, 15 second rest, three times through, then you're done. Go.
cutting right back into those leg circles in another four seconds. Exercise and then we are done, friends. 
Heel taps. Three, two, one.